lap number two on the fresh rig. Damn that bit fast. Oh, nearly lost the rear. Nice. Nice. How'd she go in the low? Yeah, I don't know. It was like going in some of the like fast turns and stuff but I feel kind of raked out and off the back of it yeah right that would have been good in the steep stuff but yeah it was yeah. you see that baby head rock in the left hand corner near the yeah it was just sitting in the rock wasn't it that's the one that rolled down was it yeah fuel stop required pardon fuel stop required yeah, yeah. <laughs> one bar yeah yeah well I think Greg's done and I'm pretty good I might just get you to drop me up the top of that hill once and I'll do one of the Rougher tracks, I know, just so I can feel it on the yeah, yeah. chattery stuff. Yeah. You know? And then we'll bust home and get some lunch, or we could get some lunch somewhere. Go out and buy that. Oh, you get a deal on it? Or? Yeah, I got a deal on it. Yeah. Actually, the guy who gave me the deal lives here. Alright. Uh, yeah, he, like, he works for them because they're from like, near Barcelona, I think. Yeah. Full trials guy. Yeah. Because I had a deal with TRS before. Yeah. Um, and then the guy stopped selling and started selling them. She's a pretty pimp rig, bro. Yeah, I that's the thing. Like, trials bikes come, like, a lot of them come stock with, like, dog shit parts. Yeah. You've got all these. Like, beaters and stuff. Where Eno. Like, yeah. Got all the yeah. upgrades on it. It's yeah. Good. You got all the anodized red bling, eh? It's nice, isn't it? Actually, it's just out of the box, though. Like. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's how it comes. Damn. And yeah, then yeah. it's fuel injected, so no car between. Airbox is up behind the bars, doesn't get dirty. Yeah. You just f***ing petrol in, where you go. Right. Mate. Mad set up. See you, Greg, mate! <laughs> <laughs> we got one bar on the rig. Been shuttling too hard. Yeah, Every day, Tommy's shuttling. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and we got a traffic jam, <laughs> extra idle uh, time. We're at the top of a hill, we're all good. Yeah, That's true, we can roll. roll down. Oh, they're just waiting to turn right. Golf. We've done a uh, test on the enduro track, now we're going over to the bike park, secret trail, secret loma that Pal showed us. Gonna do just a couple laps on the rough stuff, see if the black box. some high altitudes. Tommy's salad just blew its gasket. Mine is about to go. Oh my gosh. Look at her bubbling up. 
Mate, the Hyundai H1 OG Euro Battle Bus. Decked out with a fat set of all terrains. That thing can't be stopped. You can go anywhere. What a weapon. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing down here. I just called the OG Euro Battle Bus way too soon. Look at this war rig. The apocalypse rig. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Thousand euros a day on fuel or diesel. That's nuts. All right, so I've tested both bikes on the steepest single trail over the other mountain and the fresh rig absolutely blew the green one out of the park. Sorry, green trusty old rig. You are no longer my horse of choice. But I do have to try this new suspension on the, some more choppy, like, rough stuff. Because that stuff over the other side was pretty smooth, so... Doesn't really tell you how it carries speed over the choppy, rough, repetitive roots and rocks. So we're going to do a lap of the maxi avalanche into that mad gloom track at the bottom. Alright, maxi avalanche inferior. Alright, we're going to take the left. Slightly rougher track. You see how the suspension handles. So fast, so good. You all good? Yeah, just uh, getting uh, some air out. Okay. Not a great spot to stop. <laughs> just parked up on checking out the undercarriage on the middle of the track. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! I've done that twice now. Oh my gosh, go for on the helmet under this thing. Woo. Oh, yeah. It feels good. Um, the shock feels like... my other one so I think I might do a run on that track with the green bike just to yeah. feel the difference yeah, yeah. it also could be that those bumps are just so much rougher than what I just rode that I'm yeah it's predictable though like you can bomb into a section <clears throat> and you know what it's gonna do like you're not yeah. gonna get bucked or anything the rhino power helping a brother through a hot and sweaty day hydration fuel rubber is the sponsor's dream Getting a bit of weather rolling in. I hope that doesn't start before we just had a huge -y. clipped a stump. Blown a digit. <laughs> yeah, blown a digit, eh? It's so sore. Still operating though, full function, which is good. Also blown me glove out, which is no good. Just running the green bike over the trail I just rode. Um, oh, we got a spot on the lens there. See how she goes, just as a comparison, because it's hard to, rev to compare the green bike from the tracks over there to the top secret bike. On the tracks over here, so you got to do that comparison, man.
All right, guys, we're back after a big session. I was only gonna do one lap on the, the bike park track just to confirm my findings, but ended up riding till now. We just got home, it's like 6 p.m. I ended up liking the green bike a little bit better on the rough chattery stuff. And our main issue is we are actually no more informed than you on what's inside this black box. So <laughs> we don't really know what way to, we don't really know what way to go, what direction to head in. So we're at a bit of a roadblock. Um, not to be alarmed though, we will wait till we get to Ludenville and get the SRAM guys who actually know what's going on to help us make the correct adjustments. So stay tuned. <clears throat> How do we finish off a big day on the tools, Tommy? Oh, country press. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> we haven't been in touch yet. <laughs> oh, well, we've got a story about that. Oh, Remember one of my shooters? Yeah. Emailed him? Yeah. I told you. Yeah, and it went down. Went down and they said they didn't want to borrow it. Let's we'll show the viewers that email. No, interested. Anyway, so one of me shooters hit up Jordan's. They didn't want to borrow it. Here's the message. Um, and then I was like, "Oh, screw you, Jordan." So I went out and I bought some Quakers Cruisley Chocolato to see how it would go. No, I'm just joking. I ran out of Jordan's Crap, and right. Tommy's just bringing yeah. some fresh. Where's mm. the box? Where's the stash? There's so much shit going on in here. I need to do a clean up. Yeah, so Tommy's just brought a stash for the boys. Don't worry, we loaded. So probably the best business move Jordan's could have made because we're still going to advertise it mm. on the vlog. So really, they're winning here. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're the losers, dude. I'm not losing right now. I'm just going to give the people a rundown of Kev's kitchen. Um, we couldn't film the whole thing. Did I tell you about the one me and Dim filmed? Uh, no, you didn't. Me and Dim so. filmed a Kev's kitchen and I got flagged on YouTube because we are performing dangerous acts. <laughs> no joke. So I've had to forfeit the whole series. But I can just give the people a rundown. Today we're running the, uh, the grilled veg with Kev's 11 herbs and spices. And... <laughs> Tommy's got a bit of mince on the side just because he's a dirty bulker. He's been at the gym all day. Um, and then we are probably going to finish it off with uh, what you would expect. Country crisp. Maybe a couple blueberries sprinkled on top and some almond milk. And that's just, that'll be the day done. So if Kev's, if Kev's 11 herbs and spices aren't enough for you, you can go for the 12th. Bit of pesto and you just go... Yeah, like that. Flick it on. Don't splash it onto Tommy's plate or he will die. <laughs> He's allergic to nuts. We're not trying to kill our mechanic. Not before the season's over anyway. <laughs> Just like that, that's nice and you can spread it out. And then, for the final touch, just some of this dank ass feta. Yeah, just a couple of feta cubes like that, and you've got to make sure they're the ones soaked in oil and herbs. 